I want to look at briefly global inequality, look at effective altruism as a movement, discuss our personal, our personal lifestyle choices and our impact on others, and um, just a little bit of um, cognitive science. So how can we make making a difference fun, easy, enjoyable? How can we make it contagious? Um, so one of the best presentations I saw about global inequality, um, Maverick, if we can have the first slide, um, was there's a group called, they're uh, advocates of Peter Singer's work. It's a group of medical students from the east coast of Australia, and they ran from Brisbane down to Melbourne, visiting schools along the way. These are Peter Singer's books. They inspired people to make a difference. So I went to one of their talks in Melbourne, and uh, they basically had a demonstration that's similar to the one up there. They picked out three people, and they said, the seven billion people in the world, you're the poorest person, or in the poorest billion. This person in the middle is the average person in the world, and this person over here is the richest billion. And what they did, they gave um, one peanut to the poor person, and uh, actually no, they gave no peanuts to the first person. Two peanuts to the middle person, and ten peanuts to the, first, to the richest person. Which if you look at there, like the poorest billion people live on two dollars a day, the average person in the world lives on ten dollars a day, and um, like uh, a uni student who's getting off study or working a part-time job in Australia gets thirty dollars a day. Your average worker in Australia gets three hundred dollars a day. So anyway, so they had zero peanuts, two peanuts, and ten peanuts to represent. Uh, this is just making it more real, like these peanuts in our hands. And they said, well, let's look at how much Australians give to the poorest billion. And they, they took one of the peanuts off of the poor person, uh, off of the rich Australian. They chopped it in half, they chopped it in half again, they chopped it in half again, and then they said, oh, and then we'd have to break this bit into a thirtieth and give it to the poor person. And every one of us in the room was, we could just really feel like how absurd that was. Um, so yeah, if you are living on $30 a day and there's people living on one, um, it's worth thinking about. Or at least when you've got a job and you're on $300 a day, like, the difference is enormous. And then, um, but yeah, I don't really want to like, make us feel bad about that. The point of my talk is uh, how amazing it is that we can make a difference. Um, yeah, so when we were watching Peter Singer's video, I think everybody felt, felt some heartstrings being struck when we saw that per, the girl, little girl in China or when we were thinking about all the people around the world who were dying every day. Um, but it's pretty easy to forget about them. In our day-to-day -day life, we've got games and TV and friends. and um, Our ability of empathy, as you guys both so well pointed out, so much is like what we focus on. The video camera that sees around the world um, if we can take time every day to remind ourselves of this global situation, it's so much easier to care and to make a difference. But, as many of you might have noticed, thinking about it can hurt. So it's not so contagious. You can't like, go around and get everybody to be excited about thinking about everybody dying. So <laughs> we've got to find ways to make it like, contagiously interesting to think about making a difference. And I think that's why effective altruism is awesome, because we can show wonderful ways to make a difference. Um, just a couple of things to sort of keep it fresh in your mind, what's happening in the world. If anyone's seen YouTube's by he's amazing. Or you can look at worldometer or poverty.com or the life you can save or any of the sites. It makes it, makes it more real, makes it something that can be felt and experienced and shared and discussed. So anyway, Next I'm going to look at effective altruism as a movement. And the first thing I wanted to cover, um, Peter Singer mentioned GiveWell, and uh, they had the Anti-Malaria Foundation at the top of their suggestions. Now, actually, they, that was such a success that they got so much money that now they're off the list because temporarily they've got more money than they can handle. So I think that's really beautiful. Um, so, yeah, focusing on effective charities, um, it works. Um, so I'm going to go through some of the charities that are on the Life You Can Save on their um, Where to Donate page. 
and uh, just put a, my own spin on it. Um, so near the top, they've got this gistiomyosis control initiative. And that's a really hard word to say, and so most people kind of forget it. And um, it's actually one of the world's biggest issues. Um, uh, there are worms that infect people throughout the developing world that are horrible. And for about 50 cents per year, you can protect a child from, from getting that. So uh, yeah, 50 cents a year, it's a pretty good deal. Um, then there's another one called Give Directly, where they just give the money to a village, spread it across all the people, and the people spend it on bicycles, education, food, medicine. They know what's the most effective thing to do. It sounds counterintuitive, just splash money around a village, but they've gone in and audited it, and they've shown that it works really, really well. Um, evidence action is um, 50 cents a year to give water to a child. So now imagine if I was thirsty. I'm just a stranger to most of you. If I came in and I was like, I'm really thirsty, could you give me a glass of water? I think you would. And uh, you probably like deserve to like give yourself just a little smile. You made a thirsty guy happy. Now, if I was every day drinking out of, puddle, out of a puddle of mud, and for 50 cents you could give me clean water for a year, I think that's beautiful. Like just saying it almost brings a little tear to my eye. So, um, one thing I really want to emphasize is as you get involved in charities and share the ideas with other people, get people to really feel how amazing it is. Like every time you have a glass of water, you could imagine what it would be like to be drinking out of a puddle of mud instead. And for 50 cents, you get to buy that happiness for a year. It's pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, Oxfam's also on their list. They're, um, they've been ordered to be super effective in all of their different actions. They're also tax deductible in Australia. Um, in the effective altruism movement, um, a lot of us were discussing whether that was the best charity to give to because of the tax deduction, so you could give more. Turns out some of the other charities, you still end up making a bigger impact. Um, yeah, so they've also got charities around health, education, financial security, blindness and nutrition. Um, and yeah, every one of those is amazing. So if you were to like give to a health charity, you could imagine if, what it would be like if you, when you've been sick and didn't have access to a doctor, or if you couldn't count or read what it'd be like to go to a store and not have any idea what the change should be like. Um, yeah, uh, you could, he mentioned the blindness causes. For well, about $40, you can fix someone with blindness. I mean, every time you opened your eyes, you could imagine like, how amazing it would be that, that you've given someone sight. Um, there's one other charity that he has listed, probably because it's just pretty uh, intense. The fistula charities, there's a disease throughout the developing world where young girls um, leak bodily fluids constantly. It doesn't kill them, but as you can probably imagine, it, it ostracizes them and destroys their life. And it, it can be fixed for about $450 per person. So yeah, they're the, the top charities on the life you can save, and I recommend checking them all out. Um, having them in your mind so you can talk to people about them. Um, so there's another concept that I wanted to just briefly cover. It's the, the way that a lot of people audit the charities. It's um, disability adjusted life years. So how many years you can add to someone's life by um, having an intervention. So it's not just making them live longer, but it's also stopping them being incapacitated. And as Peter Singer mentioned, this movement's been inspired and fueled by a lot of economists who've really audited like what's the impact of these different movements, what impact will it have on individuals, how will that flow over into the community, um, how sustainable the organisations are. And at the bottom of that list um, that I mentioned on the Life You Can Save, it also has links to effective um, climate activism, it has links to um, kindness, um, to non-human animals, so experience uh, well-being for, for them. Um, and if you were interested, the effective altruism literature, and there's so many amazing blogs and groups to get involved in, which Peter Singer mentioned many of in his talk. Um, they also cover like the existential risks and war and education and social change. Um, a few of us have been pushing for events like this to be included, and as I'm keep hinting at, your conversations, you inspiring other people, I think is one of the 
biggest forms of effective altruism. If you only gave 1% of your income but you convinced 100 people to do it, that's amazing. Or if you gave 60% of your income and inspired 1,000 people to do that, that's even more amazing. Yeah, so uh, yeah, effective altruism, it's working, it's growing, it's, it's awesome. So yeah, I'm glad you're all here. Um, so yeah, personal lifestyle choices. So this has been a big thing of mine since around the time I was at uni. Um, uh, so I know a lot of people who have devoted their lives to full-time making a difference. Some people who have literally given their lives um, at the war front or saving forests. And, um, yeah, so there is definitely that option of like devoting yourself to giving your own time to make a difference. But earning to give and encouraging other people to do that is amazing. You're, throughout your life, going to meet so many people who have a job, who just doing what they do. And if you can inspire them to give a fraction of what they're doing, we can really, we can change the world. Like, I actually believe within a couple of generations we will have, like, not only ended poverty, but created a world of, of education for all and international, um, almost opulence for everybody. But it's up to all of us to make that happen. Um, so yeah, in our own lives, we can spend less, we can earn more, we can build wealth. When I was just a little bit younger than all of you, there was these adverts on TV that said for a dollar a day, you can save a life. Um, I think it was some famines in Africa, and that really stuck in my mind. A dollar is an African baby day. So um, I started to not use the word dollar. Everywhere I went, I was just like, that's a... That's African baby days. So catching a taxi was <laughs> catching a taxi was twenty African baby days. So um, I ran instead, and like going out to party like a lot of people do is like fifty African baby days. I learned to go out sober, and I learned to like have really amazing conversations. So I've been living a really cheap life ever since, because you imagine if every dollar was an African baby day. Um, yeah, it's makes a difference. And making funny stuff like that that's catchy, spreading that around, that can inspire a lot more people to make positive choices. Now one dollar as an African baby day actually isn't that good an investment. Like I was saying, you can have 50 cents for an African baby water for a year. So yeah, so if a dollar was two, two, two years worth of water, it's uh, now that I've learned more about more effective charities, it's it's even more powerful what you do with your money and how much you save it and how amazing you can make your life if you live frugally. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's up to us to like cherish every time you make a difference. If you give to charity, love it, um, feel good about the difference you made, think about that person's life, put yourself in their, in their shoes. If you inspire someone else to make a difference, spend time feeling it. Think about how they're, they're going to go on and continue to make an impact. Um, we only feel things when we actually focus on them. So give yourself that reward to feel the difference you make in your conversations, in what you give to charity, in the causes and campaigns you do. Um, yeah, so like I mentioned at the start of my talk, the Run to Better Days, they, they, uh, they do that every year, giving out the books to schools. Um, BGEN, the Effective Altruism Movement in Melbourne and hopefully soon, effective altruism movement in Adelaide, built by you guys. Um, the more you can get together and spread positivity, the more we change the planet. And uh, I hope that you all feel a bit inspired by that. And uh, taking talks like Peter Singer's talk, sharing it on social media, um, any of the blogs that you read around effective altruism, share them. Get this conversation in the forefront of people's minds. Because it is what we focus on that affects what we do, and we could change the world. Um, so yeah, that's what I want everybody to be thinking about. Um, so yeah, I guess my, my closing thought is, um, they talk about effective altruism as combining rationality with empathy. Um, I think it's up to all of us to create more empathy, to get people to, to look at the issues, to focus on it, to feel it because we all have so much empathy as long as we're looking at the right things. And that we can empower that by giving people effective ways to make a difference. Getting people to, to really see the issues in the world, 
and to be excited that they can make a difference. Um, so yeah, I recommend watch Peter Singer's talk again soon. Check out the organisations it mentions. Look at 80,000 hours for advice about your career. Um, get involved in the effective altruism groups on Facebook and the blogs. And uh, yeah, I hope the dream of a better world is something that inspires all of us. Thank you so much for your thoughts, guys. It's fantastic.